Hey, welcome back to the not kitchen. Um, we're gonna do another little yoga pose that I really love throwing in um, just when I've had a tough day, when I need to relax, if, you know, just life gets you down, you need to change things up a little bit. Um, so this pose is really helpful for stress relief. This pose also just kind of gives your circulation a little bit of a boost. Um, I will say this pose is not for everyone. If you have like super high blood pressure or glaucoma, this is probably one to avoid. And um, so if you are one of those people, I do apologize, but this can add a little extra pressure up in the head. So you just wanna be mindful of your own body with this pose. But for most people, um, this is a pose that is going to just help you relax. It's gonna help your spine relax. It can help relieve some lower back pain if you're really struggling with that. Um, it puts you in that more like rest and digest kind of state that we talked about. So it's gonna help your digestion. It's also gonna help your legs and feet feel less fatigued. It's just a really great little refresh. I've used it a lot when I've had like anxiety problems. I'll just go to this pose, spend a few minutes breathing, and life is a lot happier again. So for this pose, um, if you're feeling super tight or if you have like a really sensitive lower back, I would recommend having a prop of a nice snuggly blanket. It can be any blanket or it can be like a, you know, like, like a pillow, just something like a little bit soft and cushy that you can use to support your lower back if you'd like. Um, I'll show you how to use that in just a second. But this pose is legs up the wall. And so the trick to getting into this pose is you're going to scooch all the way next to the wall. like. Scoot your hip right up, become best friends with that wall, and then you're going to do a little spin and we're upside down. So this is where, if this feels super tight on your legs, you can always bend them a little bit. Just keep that little bend in the knee. Or if this feels not so comfy for your lower back, this is where you take that little guy, tuck it underneath your lower back, and let yourself relax. You can let your arms be out, they can be above your head, be at your side. If you want to bring more awareness into your breath, you can bring your hands on your belly or one on your heart and one on your belly. Whatever feels most natural for you. I'm usually like this, just blah, chilling out. And I'm just going to let your legs hang out up the wall. This is a great pose to stay in. Maybe three to five minutes, however much time you have. You can let your knees relax. And just let the heels kind of hold you there and just take some nice deep breaths down into the belly. Hmm. You can just kind of feel that tension melting away. Your shoulders kind of relax. Notice if you've got your shoulders up towards your ears and maybe kind of work them down a little bit. Let your arms rotate out so we're opening up the chest. And just kind of feel your spine grounding into the floor and just kind of pay attention to those sensations. I kind of feel your toes, kind of feel all of that. The circulation is changing up. Everything's settling and just getting a little bit more relaxed. And so you can just hang out here for three to five minutes. If your feet start to get a little bit numb, because if you're not used to this, you might get like some tingles. You're just gonna slide your heels down, get a little bend in the knees, let the circulation come back. And just kind of hang out here, because the main point is that we just kind of want to change our elevation, change our perspective, if you will. That's just gonna help refresh the body. And when you're done, you can just kind of bring your knees into your chest, let them roll to one side, and there we are. So thank you all for joining me for this little yoga moment. Um, legs up the wall is a wonderful practice for stress relief, to help your lower back feel a little bit more released, and to just kind of relieve any tension that you've got worked up in your legs. So namaste, throw this into your day when you need it, and I will see you in my kitchen soon.